Hello, this is Kelly from Real Pursuit, and today we are working on using washi tape stickers uh, to add to different pieces of ephemera and just fun bits for our junk journals. So I have these new washi tape stickers, so I'm pretty excited. And this is an example of one that I just did. And so it's just kind of a start. Uh, for this particular tag and it was just a piece of a back of a, a notepad so and it just had the calendar on it and I'll have to figure out what to do with that side but for now that's that one and another way that I used uh, the black and white was on this junk mail envelope and then I uh, stained it with some inks and I did some stamping with the red stamp on there. So, and now this is also holding some stickers. So, and I have this tag that was on a, a sweater that I uh, got, I gave for a gift and then promptly said, if you're not gonna keep that tag, I'll go ahead and take it if you want me to. <laughs> I this little, this is just experimenting. <laughs> with uh, inks and stuff, so yeah. But this tag is super fun. And I, I did stamp a little something on there. These Most of these stamps are pretty big. So, ooh, it's flying out. But we can find some smaller ones. And then just kinda maybe trim off something maybe do a leaf kind of like the leaf there as, as long as I just cut it in a straight spot then I can cut it put it at an angle that one okay let's give this one a leaf oh wow that's not very opaque at all on this one that's interesting um, I'm gonna get my brownie cutter use that. Oh, I'm really surprised at how it doesn't look bad, but wow, that one did not disappear from that dark background. I'm surprised because it, it, it did on like this part, but not on that part. And this one, it did on here as well. So we'll have to see going forward. So that's three of them. Uh, what else? I've got this little piece here. I thought maybe I could add something, like something leafy to it. Maybe. I just want to cut them all in half for some reason. Okay. I know some people, they're like really particular about making sure that if they have uh, text script writing on the back, that it's like right up. And I almost always try to make it like diagonal or, and actually these washi tape stickers came with a little burnish, burnish tool, but I might have misplaced it. <laughs> it might have happened. All right. So there's another one. And actually, where's the other side? I wonder if maybe, obviously I don't want that on there, but we could potentially put this on that side and it'll be more symmetrical. Spontaneous creativity right here. The next thing we're going to do, I have a ton of these little sheets of dictionary sheets. So yeah, we'll just, that looks like that would go pretty, pretty good. I think these do look really good on those junk mail envelopes, like kind of overlapping though on the, between the window and stuff and stuff. And uh, yeah, so then there's that one. So it just makes a really nice sort of background. And then you can kind of burnish it to make sure, you know, all the edges get stuck down. And then we'll kind of come back later, but generally I would uh, 
you know, kind of tear along the edges, put it on something more stable. And I've got these little cards. So these are like, I think these are generally like the Tim Holtz kind of ones. So I'd like to use some of my smaller ones. And I think those, yeah, they're in this bucket here. And by bucket, I mean envelope. And this is kind of nice. And I'm not crazy about the leaf thing down there. So I think I'm gonna just uh, trim, and actually I'm gonna trim some of this border off because I don't really need that. And then I'll just use this piece for something else. But I'm gonna put this flower on. Half this video is gonna be fast forwarding through me trying to get these stickers apart. <laughs> And then I just keep chucking my little plastic pieces. All right, where should this go? This way. I always want to put it down at the bottom, but I think I'm going to put this one more at the top, off to the side there. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to use another one. I'm going to use two of these. That's what I'm thinking. I could try doing it this way. I don't like that, so maybe like this. See, I'm totally modifying this. Maybe like that. Maybe, maybe. Maybe like this. And then, once we get it down, then we can kind of use something else for a focal point. And I just put that flower on the floor. Oh, I'll get it later. Later, later. Okay, so let me put this here. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Sometimes I think I rush it because I don't want to be too pokey on the video. And if I were just doing it regular, I by myself I just sitting there poking around trying all kinds of different ones till I found the one I liked. Okay, now we can do our burnish. So, that's pretty subtle. Hmm. This one I think will go really nicely like that or maybe a tall one. This upside down. I just can't tell. Okay, it goes this way. And then when we get done, we can add more. Details to some of these to make them more finished. All right. These are my black and white, so let's see what we have in here. Ooh, this one might look nice. Try this glue. This glue is much more cooperative. Ooh. We'll do a little distress. We'll do it. There go. Oh, well, this glue comes out fast. I don't know what kind of glue this is or how like reliable it is, but it's just called like white or clear craft glue. Blue pen. Oh yeah, that butterfly and the coloring on there, that's just, 
That was like the first butterfly I picked. And it just looks fantastic with it. Not too much stress on the edges. So pretty. Okay. Alright, what else do we have? This is like from a old brochure. We can probably do a big flower on this one. I'm getting all my, my piles mixed up. Here's my big flowers. Oh, this red is pretty fantastic. I could be crazy and do it all upside down like that. Mm. This one. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's going to happen. Ooh, that one on nice. There we go. And I'm all come back. Ooh, that looks really pretty. And then I have this <clears throat> this piece. I got some kind of uh, brochure. I kind of like this uh, font or something on it. This is when I went to the genealogy um, genealogy uh, conference in Salt Lake City. So it was very cool. I went all by myself and <laughs> had a really good time. It's like a three or four day thing and I rented an Airbnb and it was a really nice Airbnb too. So, yeah, really nice time. Right, now I can try to use this big flower. Oh my goodness. And my husband's over there talking to the dog. I can't tell what he's saying though. I think he's talking to the dog. Maybe he's on the phone. <laughs> oh, he is on the phone. <laughs> I was like, wow, he's having a really in-depth conversation with the dogs. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, yeah. That's very pretty. Maybe add some other red accents or something else on that. So with the junk mail envelopes, I generally uh, start out with the inking business. And I have this new blue, so I might as well try my new blue ink. So let's do that. This is um, the oxide speckled egg. And actually, I think I'll just do the blue. It's really light. Maybe get some ink on there. It's not very juicy. <laughs> We're being brand spanking new. already stamped like a little teapot on there which I thought was super cute. I did that using my new rainbow petal ink things. It's fun to get new toys. It just is. Okay and then we'll do the ink around the outside. Dun, dun, dun. And then should we do, oh, that one's juicy. That's really went on quick and quick and thick. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we need a flower. These flowers are like bright red. I have a blue one here.
see what else. What else do we have in here? Oh, that's very pretty. It is kind of nice that they've got, you know, the same uh, multiples, you know. Sometimes you get like a set of these and you find one that's like your super favorite. And then you just can only use it one time. Sometimes that's sad. <laughs> All right. Holy smokes. Do it. That. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just do a little more inking at the bottom there. Ink my table. Okay. Now, what else does this thing need? Something. It needs maybe some of this. I know that would work. I better make sure to get my ink off of here. I knew there was some brown on there. Which the brown would probably look good. Uh, maybe I'll do the brown. We'll do it. It'll it'll probably work out. Yeah, that looks good. How'd you know that was gonna look good? There we go. Okay, so there we go. That's really cute. You can put a little goodie in there. Usually I can just cut this off. I'm going to do it right now so that I can. Okay, let's see if I can put something in there. Oh well, just leave it alone. All right, that's really good looking. That's nice. Okay. Aren't you impressed? Oof. Like that one. I'm gonna put it on this side because I really like, I like the this over here. The way that turned out. See now this one, it's that white, it's really white. It's not really showing up as that edge sort of disappearing. So for this one, I think we're going to have to use the <clears throat> some overlay on this to just make it blend in a little bit better. Now, I don't know why that works, but it does. And you just kind of stamp over it. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be script. It could really be anything. And then you just stamp right over that flower. I'm still going to find something else in here. Probably, maybe a butterfly. I just have a, a cute one that I just put in here. I don't know. I don't know. That works. I'm not sure. Maybe if I tear the edges a little. There we go. That I like. Just oop, stress this edge here. Okay. Okay. Cute stuff today. The creativity is flowing. Thank goodness. Whew. Such a relief. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. It's fun when you get new stuff for Christmas. Makes you get all excited again. Okay. There we go. We'll add something. That it needs something at the top. What does it need? Like something or another. I've been waiting to use this for a while, and that I really like. That. So that's gonna happen. This was from like a fabric sample a couple of years ago, I went into um, one of those furniture stores and I was like, do you have any old sample books that you're not using anymore? And they were like, oh, sure. And they gave them to me for free. I couldn't believe it. It was fantastic. It was like Christmas. There we go. So cool. 
I'd like to get that card. It's really crinkly, like it's super. <laughs> I'll have to like cover that. Or just actually, sometimes when you, maybe we could just ink it. We're, this is like super grungy card, I guess. Okay, grungy card. Okay, now getting back to the pile. <laughs> I still need to do one with the gold uh, pieces. I haven't used the gold yet. And I kind of figured the gold it wasn't really my style, but that's okay. Here it is, look at that. So then the gold. Match that really well. There we go. Cool. Just do a quick. All right, well that was really fun. Oh, that's a nice piece. Let's do that. Now that is beautiful, just like that. Wow. Turns out it wasn't that hard to find one. <laughs> just get the weight off the edges. Sometimes I get, I have a little uh, makeup sponge that I use sometimes for the little holes. Let's see about that. Sometimes I use black on hair. Let's see. Ooh, that was really dark. That's okay though. Still emphasize, emphasized. I was gonna say emphasado. <laughs> that was my Spanglish or something. I don't know. Okay, so that was plenty of tags. That was fun. Now I've got this. So this is another Tim Holtz one that I thought might look pretty cute with a nice flower over the top. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't see these before. Look at that. That's nice because that just doesn't, it doesn't cover so much of the, of the page. Oh, that flower really blends in. I almost can't see it. It's almost invisible. Super subtle and really kind of awesome. Very pretty. I just like these washi tape stickers, especially, you know, and I, you know what I was going to do? I was going to add some book page tears to it and I never got around to it. So we're going to do that now, which is basically you take uh, some kind of a book page deal. Oh, we can do a hymnal page also. Those look really cool over just some scraps. So we'll do that. And then what else do we have? Ooh, for these, this would work really good. Library card? Oh. They're all good. I love this. There's like scribble marks in there. Graph paper. Any of this stuff would be really awesome. Maps. I think the lighter one to fill out my map section page there. Well, who knows? Okay. I was going to get a book page. Oh, yeah. So 
we're just gonna put that down. Maybe ink it first a little. Just well, this page is really yellowed quite, quite nicely. So hopefully this glue is good because I, I never tested whether or not it m makes the paper wavy, you know, like um, warped. That's what I'm trying to say. Do, do, do. Maybe we'll go this way or upside down. That's how I do it, upside down style. <laughs> okay, now we'll find some one of these. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it so we don't block all of the. And these are very forgiving, really, because I've, I've crinkled them up and everything, and they're just. Still look good. Oh, squish some glue out of there. We're just gonna rub the glue. See, it is kind of like the the uh, what do you call it? The if only words were coming to me today. The Fabri-Tac or the Fabrifix um, glue. It seems like it's like that, but I'm not really sure. We'll find out one day. Okay. Or we'll never know. I'll pick one with some yellow in it. Oh man, see? Should have just gone for the butterfly right away. But you know, you can't have everything with butterflies. <laughs> that would be a little, a little odd. This is just sitting right there in my way, so I might as well, might as well use it. Sometimes you just need a little lace in your life. So we've got notebook paper. It looked better before. <laughs> oh no, that's never gonna stick. Okay, maps. Maps, maps, maps. I'm gonna use the big one. I'm going, I'm going all out, the giant. Do I want to? I don't know. So I don't know if it goes. Maybe the blue? Blue flower over the side of it. <sighs> Sideways. Sometimes I just don't know. There we go. We shall see what happens. Oh, that's where you're going. I don't understand why some of these are clear and other ones show up as really, really white for the border. Baffling to me. Totally baffled. Okay, I'm gonna tear this down to make it more of a, maybe like fit it on a tag or something like that. I'll do distress. Dressy pants on the edges. Oh, this, this is a girl swimming. Oh, we're doing that. That's what we want. Is oh, we got we got a cough attack. No Rona here. No Rona allowed. Oh, that's so adorable. I don't know how I'm gonna balance it all the top, but I really want that on there. We'll figure that out later. How cute. I know we need something up there. But what? Script? Oh, I don't know. Over and over. But they're cute. They work.
know about that glue. Looks like it might be warping a little bit. Oh, look at all of these. Turned out really, really cute. So I definitely recommend these and I hope this gave you plenty of ideas. All right, so I ended up adding a little bit more to all of these botanical pieces. So I just wanted to uh, go through and show you the finished pieces. As always, uh, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.